After a parliamentary investigation concluded that TV Globo's agreement with Time Life was illegal, the partnership was dissolved in 1969. Mourinho was left in sole control of TV Globo. Its competitors, Tupi and Excelsior, continued their slow decline. Globo centralised all its production in Rio when its studio in Sao Paulo burnt down. The insurance check helped to fund TV Globo's Great Leap Forward, building a network. In 1969, the first TV satellite ground station gave Brazil an international link. The following year, Brazil's major cities were integrated in a national microwave network. Television in Brazil uh, was not so much to entertain the public initially, what it did more was unify the country. Globo's first national news was Jornal Nacional. It was shown on the 1st of September 1969. The network was born. Obviously something was missing. The real political life of Brazil was not there. Uh, you didn't have the voice of the trade unions. You didn't have the voice of the different forces in conflict, in the normal conflict of everyday life. You had doctored voices. You had doctored minds. And you had doctored programs. A censura cortava não apenas eh, trechos de programas, notícias que não eram vinculadas, mas criou uma, uma tendência no Brasil da gente não ter a história registrada daquele período. Excelsior had been the only television company to oppose the coup in 1964, and the military did not forget. In 1970, the government cancelled its concession. In the early 70s, General Medici's new government launched a massive propaganda campaign with the slogan, Brazil, love it or leave it. The Trans-Amazon Highway was the next grandiose national infrastructure project. Mas não basta construir estradas, é preciso colonizar. The 1970 Mexico World Cup was shown live by satellite. Brazil won. And the regime took every opportunity to exploit the champion's glory. But this photograph of the president was banned, perhaps because the hard man was looking too human. The state provided about 30% of advertising expenditure. Some commercials it paid for, others it decreed should be shown for free. Television was the main channel for its propaganda messages. A paz se faz com quem ama o mesmo chão. Any reporting of dissent was banned. Persistent criticism and the publication was shut. The list of censored subjects was endless. The order banning any mention of an event was often issued to journalists before the event itself. For instance, you are forbidden to report a kidnapping that will take place tomorrow, probably in Curitiba. TV Globo often went further than was required. It made people into non-people. Eu já era uma pessoa não grata ao governo, mas o governo não podia me proibir de, de existir. Eles proibiam minhas músicas, a censura proibia algumas músicas minhas, a censura que era oficial do governo. Agora, a TV Globo se encarregou de ser mais realista que o rei de reforçar essa censura, proibindo o meu nome. Em 1981, a bomb exploded in a car outside a May Day rock concert in Rio. 20,000 people were there. The military said the bomb had been planted by left-wing extremists, but the explosion killed a soldier and wounded another inside the car. In Globo's first news report of the incident, a second unexploded bomb was clearly visible inside the car. When the report was shown again, the second bomb had been edited out forever. The novella, Latin America's soap opera, is unlike its northern counterpart. All novellas have an end. They start on air when a dozen episodes, two weeks' supply, have been recorded. 
The rest are written, guided by audience research, over the seven to eight months the novella runs. Globo shows three hour-long novellas in evening primetime, six nights a week. Novellas are the foundation of the Globo Network's supremacy. O, o fascínio que existe pelas novelas no Brasil é pela característica do Brasil, porque o Brasil às vezes dá a sensação de que ele não foi descoberto, ele foi escrito. O Brasil parece um país ficcionário às vezes. O Brasil às vezes parece assim, um misto de, de Gabriel Garcia Marques com Franz Kafka. Então, e aí esse fascínio pela ficção invade a vida das pessoas a ponto de elas se fanatizarem pelas novelas. Globo's first novellas were exotic melodramas scripted in Cuba or Argentina, The Sheikh of Agadir, The Crazy Queen. In the early 70s, following the success of a Brazilian novella on Tupi, Globo also went Brazilian and modernized its novellas. <laughs> mas contemplou uh, maquiando a, a pobreza e apontando uma perspectiva de ascensão pelo trabalho, pelo investimento. É como se o Brasil tivesse tentado viver na forma de farsa o que foi o, o, o sucesso mesmo do self-made man numa outra época do capitalismo. This Globo novela, Stone Jungle, was the first to achieve a rating of 100%. All the television sets turned on in Brazil were watching Stone Jungle. It was not the only time this happened. Gabriela. Many consider Gabriela, the novella starring Sonia Braga and based on Jorge Amado's book, to be one of Globo's best. It was certainly its most erotic. Tivemos audiências de 93, 96% dos aparelhos ligados, o que naquele momento significava 50, 55 milhões de pessoas assistindo televisão. Por isso mesmo a gente costuma dizer que o, que o Brasil, num determinado momento, apesar da dimensão continental, deixou de falar português, que é a língua dele, para falar TV Globês. After Dancing Days, a novela set in the Rio disco world, even the most isolated small villages in Brazil suddenly had three discos. A impressão que eu tenho é que a Globo conseguiu melhor do que qualquer política repressiva, de proibição, de censura, é, alterar a consciência do brasileiro sobre a sua condição. In 1989, shortened versions of Globo's novellas were shown on the televisions of 52 countries. Some can change, they can change, but a tree that's twisted? Mm -mm. In 1972, President Medici inaugurated color television at a grape festival. He said, Every night when I turn on the news, I feel happy. Why? Because on the TV Globo news, the world is in chaos and Brazil is at peace. It's like taking a tranquilizer after a day's work. The coming of color consolidated TV Globo's superiority. What Globo itself defined as the Globo standard of quality was established. Viewers salivated, it said, when this plin-plin sound announced the start of the next Globo program. Hans Donner, an Austrian, became the head of Globo's television graphics in the mid-70s. His clean, remarkable images are still today the glue that holds Globo's hypnotic output together. costumam acusar a, a, a Rede Globo do exercício de um monopólio de televisão. Há quem sustente que esse monopólio representa um Estado dentro do Estado. 
Mas eu não participo dessa opinião, porque o monopólio da, da Rede Globo, se existe, seria então o monopólio da competência. In 1977, Roberto Marinho fired Walter Clark, who was by then the highest paid chief executive in Latin America. É como tudo na vida, né? Você tem o começo, o clímax, depois a coisa entra em processo de decadência. Nós começamos a... a, 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 a eu senti que ele queria. Afinal, a coisa estava montada. O trem elétrico de minha, miniatura estava pronto e ele queria brincar e, e, e esse trem elétrico era um instrumento de poder. And is Roberto Marinho citizen Kane? Mas é, é, é uma pessoa bem, bem parecida. Mas acho que não tem, não, é, acho que ele não tem o Rosebud. Clark was replaced by the controller of programs known simply as Boni. He still runs Globo. Meanwhile, as Globo showed, the repression had not abated. Ato público está proibido. Não admitimos passeata nem comício. Está todo mundo preso. Journalists were not exempt. In 1975, Vladimir Herzog, the news chief of Sao Paulo's public TV station, was arrested. He died within hours at the office of the military police. He'd been tortured. The police staged this photo in an attempt to prove that Herzog had killed himself. The news of his death was not reported on television, but it was in the press, and thousands gathered at Sao Paulo's cathedral to protest at his murder. In 1979, General Figueiredo became the military's fifth and last president. He promised an opening towards democracy. In 1980, TV2P finally collapsed in financial ruin. Its concession was cancelled. Abril, Brazil's largest magazine publishing company, applied for one of two network concessions. Its best-selling weekly news magazine, Veja, had started in 1968 and had occasionally been critical of the military regime. They decided to split to pee into two parts, uh, take it away from the people who owned it and, and start all over. And they told us, don't worry, you get one of the two parts, you don't have to do anything because we want serious people who do this properly and who elevate the level of television in Brazil and so forth. So we didn't worry too much, uh, sat back and relaxed and waited for the, it to drop into our lap. And what happened was that the, we had all the civilians in the government on our side, specifically Golbery and Delphine at that moment, who were very, the two most important men in the government after the president. But we then discovered afterwards that we had uh, General Medeiros, uh, on the other side, saying to President Figueiredo, uh, you don't want to give it to these guys. These guys are our enemies. They're going to use it to badger us, as they do with Veja. So uh, good sense prevailed in the government, and they didn't give it to us. The president gave the two network concessions to Manchete, a magazine publishing company smaller and tamer than Abril, and to Silvio Santos for his SBT company. Neither was likely to badger the regime. The Globo network continued to expand and boasted about it to its audiences. Here, Marinho and the president attend the opening of a new affiliate station owned by a pro-regime MP. Devo dizer que o Dr. Roberto Marinho nunca me criou qualquer tipo de dificuldade. Eu, ministro censor, e ele, diretor do Globo, da televisão Globo, da Rede Globo, da Rádio Globo, da Rádio Mundial, da Rádio Eldorado, ele nunca me criou a menor dificuldade. During the two decades of the military dictatorship, television ownership in Brazil had grown to more than 23 million. Roberto Marinho had become immensely rich and was probably the most powerful civilian in Brazil. With the end of military rule, Marinho's power became even more immense, beyond regulation or control. A Globo foi censurada, sem dúvida, muito censurada, como todos os outros meios de comunicação do país. 
O que a Globo fez de diferente dos outros meios de comunicação é que a Globo é, encampou, ela defendeu o regime, ela exaltou o regime em, frequente, em vários momentos. Quer dizer, então essa tese de que ela simplesmente não falou, não contou a realidade porque foi censurada, é uma forma de defesa que a Globo é, de, descobriu para se explicar perante a sociedade brasileira, agora no período da democracia. As the military regime ended, the first two Brazilsat satellites were launched. The military had spent an estimated 14 billion dollars integrating Brazil by telecommunications. Seguido em agosto por um segundo satélite do mesmo tipo, o Brasil Sat 2. Globo e você. Globo's unchanging weekday evening schedule starts off with a comic appetizer, Professor Raymond's Little School, starring Chico Anicio. He's Globo's highest paid and longest running comedy star. <laughs> Quando a terra do índio está pronta para a lavoura, como é que o índio fala? Está na hora de plantar a semente. Está na hora de plantar a semente. E quando a mulher do índio está pronta para o amor, como é que o índio fala? Está na hora de plantar a mandioca. Isso, já está civilizado. <risos> The current 8 o'clock novela has only a few weeks left to run. Marcela, descobrindo a amante secreta de Ricardo. Não comente nada com ninguém. E por que eu teria alguma consideração por você? Meu bem, meu mal. Hoje, depois do Jornal Nacional. Ah, qual é a novela que você quer? Eu quero, eu quero saber que novela As três da Globo. A semana inteira, de segunda a sábado. As três novelas. Barriga de aluguel. Lua cheia de amor, meu bem, meu mal. Eu gosto mais de barriga de aluguel. É do Tadeu. Barriga de aluguel. Barriga de aluguel. Barriga de aluguel. Agora. Rede Globo, Rio, 18 horas 48 minutos. Assista agora Lua Cheia de Amor. Belly for Rent, the six o'clock novela, is for housewives and the young. Ana e Zeca comprou. Compra o bebê, aí, aí Clara é, alugou, a barriga. alugou a barriga. Ela teve um neném, era para entregar a Ana, a, aí ela não quis entregar. Aí devolveu o dinheiro e Clara quer ficar com o filho porque quer. Deus a The seven o'clock novella is designed for people returning from work and is not too demanding. This one, Moon Full of Love, has not been a hit. It was co-produced with the Spanish and the Swiss through Globo's European arm, Tele Monte Carlo, which transmits to Italy. Meu bem, meu mal. 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 Meu bem, meu The 8 o'clock novella is the most elaborate and gets the highest ratings. This character is Porfiro, the rich family's butler. Com licença, vocês gostariam de tomar um refresco, um drink, uma água? Não, eu gostaria que você desse o fora daqui imediatamente. Ah, com licença divina, eu poderia beijar o seu divino pezinho? O que você está fazendo aí, hein? Olha, olha, cuidado com o meu noivo, hein? Nenhum calo, nenhuma calosidade, nenhum olho de peixe. 
Tem uma encravada aqui, ó. Ah, sai pra lá. Vai, vai procurar o cara do quinto inferno. O meu noivo vai saber disso, viu? Então tá, pode deixar. Meu noivo. O senhor viu ele pegando no pé da menina? Isso tem cara de seminarista. Mas o que ele é mesmo é sacerdote do capeta. Na outra encarnação ele deve ter sido mordomo da messalina. Vai por mim, seu Lázaro. A ameaça de uma epidemia de cólera no país. Hoje em Globo Repórter, depois de Meu Bem, Meu Mal. TV Globo doesn't miss an opportunity to advertise the Globo organization's other products. Mourinho's record company makes 30% of its income from Shusha Records, and most of the rest from the sale of novella soundtracks containing many US hits. Product placement is blatant in Globo novellas. This is a major Brazilian private bank. This a magazine published by Globo. Here, the design agency, control of which is key to the resolution of the plot, is working for the Boticario, a natural beauty products chain. Batons do Boticario. Tá na cara que você vai gostar. Sente? Não. Pra mim tá legal assim mesmo. Eu mandei sentar, disse. Sim, senhora. Quanto você quer para fazer um aborto? Pode dizer seu preço. Eu pago. Only once, when the Manchetti network produced Pantanal in 1990, has TV Globo been defeated in the ratings by a novella produced by a Brazilian competitor. Set in the Pantanal, a Brazilian ecological wonderland, this novella had leisurely eroticism, animals, nature, and two females who turned into leopards when angry. It defeated the Globo giant, but that's unlikely to happen often. Você é a mulher mais linda que eu já vi. Vem aí, o dono do mundo, de Gilberto Braga, a nova novela das oito. Globo e você, tudo a ver. In one of its more extraordinary gestures, Globo made a video clip to cheer up Brazil's street kids. Eight million of Brazil's children live abandoned in the streets. They're daily being killed by thugs hired to clean up the neighborhood.